Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for 5th graders. Our concept is one and multi-step word problems. This is part three. Remember, 5th graders, good things come to those who work hard. Now back to the grind. <laughs> we have our 5th grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box for you to sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's dive into our word problems. In a school auditorium, there are 33 seats in each row of seats. How many rows are needed for 528 students to each have a seat? In order to solve this problem, the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the rows of seats needed for 528 students to each have a seat. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, well, what information can help us find the answer? And the information that can help us find the answer is number one, there are 33 seats in each row. And number two, there are 528 students needing a seat. Now that we know that, how do we solve the problem? Well, what we need to do is divide 528 students by 33 seats. Okay, again, we are going to divide 528 students by 33 seats. And when we do that, our answer is 16 rows of seats. So what is our correct answer? It's easy peasy. We need 16 rows of seats in order for 528 students to each have a seat where there are 33 seats in a row. Now let's look at question number 29. Aspen added 14 to the product of 224 and 16. What is the sum? Is it F, 3,478, G, 3,598, H, 3,808, or J, 3,584? In order to solve this problem, the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the sum of 14 added to the product of 224 and 16. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, well, what information can help us find the answer? And the information that can help us find the answer is that the sum of 14 added to the product of 224 and 16. So my sum is equal to 14 plus in parentheses 224 times 16 because we see 14 added, that means the plus sign, and product is multiplication, okay? So again, we have our sum equal to 14 plus in parentheses 224 times 16. Now you may be asking yourself, well, Miss Jackson, why do we need the parentheses? Because we want to make sure we are multiplying the 224 and 16 first, okay? How do we solve the problem? We have our expression. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and do the operations. So first, we need to multiply 224 and 16. When I do that, that is equal to 3,584. Now that I have my product of 224 and 16, the next thing I need to do, and the final thing, is add 14. So 14 plus 3,584 is equal to 3,598. 
That is my sum. Now, what is my correct answer? All I need to do is look at the answer choices to see which one has 3,598 as the answer. And I bet you see it. Absolutely, G is our correct answer. And that is it, fifth graders, for our One Step and Multi-Step Word Problems Part 3. Remember, we have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.